Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How you guys doing? Guys, today we're going to be talking about the newest snowball assault rifle known as the Blizzard Blitzer within Fortnite Save the World. If you guys do want to pick this weapon up, you can get it via the new Winter Llamas that are in the store right now for 500 Winter Tickets. The easiest way to get these Llamas, in my opinion, is by playing Frost Knight. You get a ton of tickets by playing Frost Knight, so that's probably the best way to get it. If you don't want to play Frost Knight, you could probably do, you know, the normal mission and the mission alerts that are on the map but yeah so we're gonna be talking about the blizzard blitzer in today's video but before i do jump into it if you guys would like to support me at gfuel.com you guys can use my code which is demonjoefr and get upwards of 30 percent off all the way up until christmas G Fuel is the only sponsor that we do have here on the channel and it's one of the only companies that i actually endorse if you guys would like to pick up a starter kit or a tub or shaker cup or anything like that to support me it'd be appreciated and you can send me a tweet on twitter so i can hit you with a follow but let's go ahead and jump into it and let's talk about the Blizzard Blitzer. Now, the Blizzard Blitzer, as I said, is the new uh, kind of weapon that came in this event with Frost Knight coming back and everything. We covered all the information with this patch in yesterday's update. And of course, like I said, you can get it through the Winter Llamas. It is part of the new toy weapon set. And of course, it being a part of the toy weapon set, it's going to function a little bit differently than any of the normal weapons that are in the game. This isn't just your average assault rifle. As I said earlier, and as you see in the title and thumbnail, this is a snowball assault rifle meaning that it doesn't shoot bullets it shoots literal snowballs that come out of it which makes it extremely unique it even has a crazy last perk which makes it extremely good for any enemies that have a high health pool if we go ahead and take a look at the perks on this weapon we have the water element at the top which by the way this weapon is locked to water which makes sense it shoots snowballs uh, we have crit damage crit rating and crit damage on it and the last perk is damage to stun staggered or frozen or knocked down targets will increase by 60% now the unique perk on this weapon says hitting an enemy with this weapon seven times causes them to freeze for a short duration. It does not affect enemies that have recently been frozen and can only occur every two and a half seconds. I've also seen people get other last perks which involve them snaring the enemies, kind of similar to the way if a water husk hits you, it's going to make you walk slower. Um, I've seen people with those kind of last perks, but this one specifically for mine is probably the one that you want to go with because this one right here is what's going to separate this weapon from all the other ones that are in your arsenal. So yeah, it's got a pretty crazy last perk. I'm gonna go ahead and showcase you guys two smasher tests. I did one with totally rocking out and then I did one without totally rocking out. This one right here with totally rocking out, you guys are gonna see that I'm actually able to do a pretty decent amount of damage against the smasher. You'll see him get frozen midway through and then I will finally get the kill. And then here is a smasher test without using totally rocking out. And you'll kind of see that my time to kill isn't, you know, quite as fast because I don't have that consistent crit damage. However, it still does pretty good and because it actually freezes the enemies it's pretty impressive on what it can do against any high health targets now taking a look at this weapon from the stats page you'll see that it has 16.5 thousand damage and 20 thousand headshot damage the critical hit chance is 38 percent while the critical hit damage is 545 percent using my loadout taking a look at the fire rate it has 5.4 and a very small magazine size of 30. speaking of small we have a range of only 2048 with a reload time which is pretty good of 2.1 and a very high amount of impact of nearly 1,000. Now, this weapon, as I said, it does have a pretty small magazine size and a pretty good reload time. So let's go ahead and move on over to the hero loadout because I tried to play into this just a little bit. I went with assault crit damage from Sledgehammer as my commander with totally rocking out as the team perk. Battle beat and subwafers as my support team and locked and reloaded and the assault ammo recovery are gonna try to play into the kind of magazine size issue that we have with this weapon. The Locked and Reloaded is going to be really helpful because after a reload, we'll be able to do more damage, and we are going to be reloading more often with this weapon than other weapons that, you know, we normally review. And Assault Ammo Recovering, this will give us around a 24% chance to have ammo fed right back into the magazine and allow us to keep shooting. And the final perk on this hero loadout is Assault Damage to just give us a little bit extra. So taking a look at this weapon's stats, it's got pretty decent stats. I mean, the damage and headshot damage is pretty good. The crit chance and crit damage is pretty mediocre. The fire rate is all right. The magazine size and range are really bad. And the reload time and the impact is pretty great. Now, another thing that should be mentioned about this weapon, of course, is that this weapon, because it shoots snowballs, is not a hit scan weapon, meaning sometimes you have to aim in front of your target to be able to hit them. Now, as you guys know, I hate weapons that are not hit scan. So Stuff like the ghost pistol and any weapon that really isn't going to hit your target the very second that you pull the trigger. 
However, given this weapon's range, I really didn't find much of an issue with it. It has the range of a really short SMG, and so being able to use this weapon in close quarters and the fact that it is shooting snowballs and it's not hit scan wasn't too big of an issue for me because I had to be so close to the enemy. Um, and given the fact that it will freeze enemies after I shoot them for so long is also an added bonus that I feel like is a pretty decent trade-off with this weapon. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to compare this weapon to another assault rifle in the category to kind of give you guys an idea on how the Blizzard is going to kind of compare to any of the other weapons that you might would rather use. So I decided that I would use another Christmas weapon in the form of the Pain Train. And taking a look at these stats, the Blizzard Blitzer is looking kind of grim. We have better damage and better headshot damage, but the headshot damage is... Well, not really much of an increase as it's barely above the pain train and the damage is pretty decent, you know, 2000 plus over the pain train. However, the pain train is easily going to be able to make up for this. It has a higher fire rate on top of more range, which not only means that it'll be able to damage enemies that are farther out. So therefore giving it more DPS overall, but the fire rate is just going to go ahead and edge it right on over the blizzard to the point where the extra damage that the blizzard has really doesn't even matter at all. So so whenever you are comparing the blizzard to the likes of the pain train or really any weapon for that matter there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to make the blizzard look like a pretty crummy weapon you have a weapon that has barely any range barely any mag size a fire rate that really isn't all that great combined with the fact that it's not a hit scan weapon what exactly is the redeeming factor for the blizzard well with my time with the blizzard i actually really did enjoy using it and the main reason really comes down to the unique perk that this weapon has the fact that you can freeze enemies while using this is something that no other weapon can really do and it's extremely fun to actually use not only is this weapon going to be able to freeze normal high health targets like the likes of something like a smasher but you're actually able to even freeze mini bosses and being able to cc a mini boss or in other words crowd control a mini boss is something that i always look for in weapons this is one of the reasons why the tree of light is my favorite sword of all time the fact that it can give off so much damage while also stunning stuff like huge mini bosses and keeping them away from the base is something that I absolutely adore about that weapon. And having the blizzard being able to freeze enemies that are close to it is really, really cool. A smasher could be charging at you and you could freeze them right in his tracks. A mini boss is about to go wreck the base and you could freeze them right in their tracks. If you're not doing good enough damage with your assault rifle, then you can freeze that enemy and you will have a better time actually killing them. I really, really like the blizzard. However, I can't really... I can't exactly, you know, recommend this weapon over something like the Pain Train. The Blizzard just isn't a meta weapon. It just isn't a weapon that is going to be better than any of the assault rifles. Yeah, it's going to be better than a few of the ones that are in there, but this weapon isn't something that you are going to choose over others if you want to do more damage or be more effective. However, this weapon is a fun weapon, and that's something that not every weapon has. You either have a good weapon or a bad weapon. You normally don't have a real fun weapon and because this weapon isn't as good as some of the others it still makes up for it in the sense that it's actually fun to use it's wacky and it looks great with a few different wraps and one thing that I'm actually gonna start doing in these weapon reviews is including around three different weapon wraps that I think look really good on these weapons so here's actually three different clips of me showcasing three different wraps on the blizzard and this was something that you guys told me in my mythic weapon video where I was talking about how you can get a wrap on your mythic weapons you guys told me that I really need to do more of this kind of stuff so I figured that I'll implement it into my weapon reviews from now on and kind of showcase what different wraps are going to look like on these weapons so I'll only start choosing three out of you know the billions that are in the game so that I don't waste all your time but we're taking a look at the candy cane wrap the divine wrap and the dead wave wrap on the blizzard I tried to go for very Christmassy looking wraps you know the most Christmassy that I could so like reds or greens or whites or anything like that there wasn't really all that many that looked great on the blizzard but I definitely think that the Candy Cane is 100% the standout wrap on this weapon. But that's pretty much it for my weapon review on the Blizzard. It really isn't going to outperform many of the assault rifles that are in the game, but it's not necessarily bad at the same time. It's really just kind of that fun weapon that you use every now and again. And seeing as the weapon is locked to water, 
just use this thing in a firestorm every now and again. I mean, the gameplay in the background is, of course, a firestorm, so if you ever want to use a water weapon and get some extra damage on some fire husks, then this might be the one that you want to use. But it's a pretty fun weapon overall, just not something that's going to be considered a meta gun. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. That's pretty much it for my review of the Blizzard Blitzer. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, because I'll be making videos like this almost every single day. I'm planning on going for daily uploads this week. But yeah, thank you guys so much watching. I'll see you guys next time.